In October 1956, Hungarian students held an anti-Soviet march in Budapest. The authorities met the demonstration with force, and it spiraled into revolution as workers and soldiers joined in. It was so spontaneous. We were fighting for the freedom of our country. Gergely Pongratz, a farmer, had rushed to Budapest and within hours was leading a group of freedom fighters. Russian infantry came behind the tanks. But the Russian soldiers, they got in a fire so terrible that they went in the buildings and they was coming from uh, entrance to entrance. I saw a Russian head looking out and I pulled the trigger. And I saw the Russian soldier fell out on the sidewalk. I started to cry. I killed a human being. After just four days of intensive fighting, the Soviet forces withdrew. Hungary was in glories. The whole country was in glories. The Soviet troops left already Budapest, and the meetings are going on with the Soviet government that they're going to leave Hungary, and Hungary is going to be a free and independent country. Now, can you imagine? How we was feeling at that time? We were in the glories, in the heaven. In celebration, crowds ransacked party buildings, burning Soviet propaganda and the works of Marx and Lenin. Hungarians gathered around foreign embassies, calling for recognition of their new government. But though Western countries had long talked of freeing the enslaved peoples, they took no action. This is Hungary calling. This is Hungary calling. The last remaining station. Early this morning, the Soviet troops launched a general attack on Hungary. We are requesting you to send us immediate aid the West did nothing in brutal acknowledgement that Hungary was part of the Soviet sphere of influence and had been since 1945. Budapest. Now you will see what happened in Budapest. The streets of Hungary were burned by the fire of the storm. A quarter of a million refugees left Hungary for the West before the Red Army closed the border. I went with my mother and my 12-year-old sister. And we crossed the border, we went about 15, 20 yards. And my mother turned around. <coughs> she went a few yards back under the flag, the Hungarian flag. And in a handkerchief, she could do it. She's married in the United States, but that dirt is under her head. Hungarian dirt, Hungarian land. 